Good morning, guys. So today we're gonna be doing some beef brisket here. Uh, right, I just took it out of the packet. This is an eight pound beef brisket here. Um, we gotta cut out some fat here. Uh, I got this over at Costco uh, for 35 bucks. Um, I'm gonna be cleaning this up and and uh, putting this in the smoker and we'll see how this turns out. We'll let you know how this comes out. We'll be right back. What's up guys, Tomorrow Style Barbecue San Nicholas here. We got uh, our brisket here. Just finished trimming it up. This is our fat right here that we just finished cutting up. Uh, our brisket, this is our brisket, so good commonization here on our brisket, so you can see. Um, this is about an eight pound brisket that we just finished cutting. And we'll go back in front, good, very good commonization. I like it very much, so I'm gonna be doing some barbecue here with this brisket. Uh, all we're gonna do with this brisket is just uh, salt and pepper. We're gonna throw this on the grill, you know, for about a good maybe eight, eight to nine, depending where we're gonna be with it. Maybe even more, you know, live maybe 10, 10 hours with this one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get some good brisket coming out of it. Uh, stay, stay tuned. A 50-50 mix. So all I did here was I just mixed it by volume, you know, by weight, by volume. So uh, I just did a little 50-50 with uh, kosher salt and uh, pure ground black pepper uh, here. So then I decided to just go with apple wood, just a little, you know. We're gonna cover this brisket up with apple wood. So we're gonna throw this in. All we're gonna do is just cover this brisket. Make sure you get a good even amount of cold on your brisket. Make sure you get a really good even amount of cold. Even the other side, good even amount of cold on the brisket. Don't over season to your brisket for this one for your black pepper and your salt. Mm -hmm. so, so. Let's take the leftover and just pop that in. And you're gonna take some of your. I'm gonna coat this. <clears throat> and we're gonna let this sit so that it it uh, you know until it sweats. Don't rub it, just pad your brisket, you know. I'll turn this baby over. And we're gonna cook this thing at a steady temperature between 200 to 250. Our temperature is up to 250. So we got our brisket. We're gonna be Got my smoker all prepped. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this thing on the grill. And we're, what I like to do is I like to take the, the fat side and put it towards the inside where the heat is at the most. So that way, yeah, uh, you know, it'll, it'll cook the, you know, it'll cook more. And then what I like to do is tuck Tuck the, you know, your meat in. Uh, tuck it in. Just put it in the center. You know, find, you know, set, the center works best. You know, so, so. I'm not gonna be using any probe for this one to inject because with beef, you can tell already. And all we're looking for is color and bark for this one. Um, so, and we're gonna be checking it in maybe two, three hours. And we're gonna see from there. 
uh, how bark and color is doing. And we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see, we're gonna need some wrapping from there. So now we're into that two hour mark. We're gonna check, open this to check to see our bark and uh, see how we're doing with temperature two and stuff. And we'll see if we're ready to start spraying. Oh, pretty good. All we're checking for to see if the seasoning has sticked onto our brisket. And it looks pretty good. Uh, we still see some moisture here, which is okay. That's telling me that it's, it's, uh, it's the, the, the internal temperature is pretty good. You know, so, so our bark is looking pretty good. So. We're at 136, so we're not quite there, 144, 142. We're looking at 165 before we end up start, start to uh, spray all the all. 149. We're gonna let this keep going just for until we get to 165. Then we're gonna keep, we're gonna open this back and we're gonna, we're gonna spray. We're gonna let this continue on to. So now we're gonna check again our meat and we're gonna start spraying every 15 minutes with our. We're about there. Now we're gonna start spraying every about 15 minutes. Our bark looks pretty good. We got half here, half apple cider, half water. We just start spraying every 15 minutes um, on our, our brisket uh, until we get that bark that we want. Now we're gonna check our beef brisket and see how it's doing. It's already been four, five hours. It's I put this thing down uh, since eight. One, two, three, four, five. So it's about five hours already. So let's check our brisket. That's about ready to be wrapped. So far, our bark is looking pretty good. You know, so let's check our temperature. We are, we are about there. We're at 170, 175. You know, so we're ready to wrap. So let's give this thing a wrap. What we have here is some butter and uh, uh, beef broth. So what we're gonna do is inject some of this into our beef. And then we're also going to wrap some of this. What I like, what I like to do with my briskets is just just coat some of this on on the the butcher paper. that you know and stuff so then we're just gonna drizzle some of this on top mm, it looks pretty good so all it is is just butter and beef broth just mix it mix it in well you know then we're gonna do with the rest of this is inject some of this into to your beef broth. Gonna wrap it once over. And take the two ends. Put 
pull it tight. Pull it all the way tight. Get to the end and you just pull it through the tube. Triangle shape and then pull it in. Okay. Okay, all the snakes. That's it. And then it's just ready to go on the grill. You can move it around, whatever. But now, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing with this foil, is we're going to create a boat. So it helps it helps it go cook a little more quicker and it keeps it a little more moist, you know, stuff. So I got this from uh, Mad Scientist Barbecue. Thank you, Matt, uh, for uh, this idea. So I'm gonna create a little bowl here, just like this. Just like that. Ready to throw this in for probably another eight hours. And then this should be all done. Or at least until it's tender. And our temperature gets to about 203, 208. Somewhere between there. And we go from there. <laughs> Okay. 